Um, even Foster, you saw it. You saw it with him last year. I think him being able to be in the lineup the year before, being able to go to the conference tournament, being able to go through some of those things, it it got him so many more steps ahead for the next year. So if we can give those guys those opportunities, that's what we're going to be able to do too. Doug, you haven't had a ton of guys in the All Star Classic. Yeah. What does this do for your program and and your thoughts on the matchups that you guys will encounter on Sunday? I think, you know, it's it's uh. And you try to get the top two guys in the country, you know, so, and that's a big deal. Obviously those guys are, they're, they're, they're one of the top couple guys in the country. So to even be able to recognize and, and put into that situation shows that we have a couple, at least a couple guys that are the best in the country right now, at least being recognized. Um, I think it's good for our guys just to be on a big stage. You know, like I said, you get to see you and I, I don't know how many other teams got more than one guy. You know, I know there's a couple, but it's like a Penn State, you know, it's a few, few, few of the teams that, that are up there and we want to get to there. I think it just shows that the program we're moving forward. And like I said, it's now we got some guys that they're not kind of hoping that they're there. They know they're there. And that, that makes all the difference in the world. There's a, there's a difference in how a, guy, how a guy steps out on the mat. He knows, and, and those guys have all been there probably at high school at one time. I mean, you've seen those guys, they know they're going to step out there. They know they're going to win. And that's what we're trying to do at the college level too. And guys can do it. I mean, you got some guys out there that are doing it. And I think those guys aren't far off from, from being able to do that. They just, they, they know. They've put the work in. They're, they're just at that level. They, they know that they can beat anybody. Uh, you know, the matchups, uh, Klausik, first time that guy's moving up, um, very explosive, you know, stingy wrestler. Obviously you want to like come out and score right away. Max has done a pretty good job of that, being able to score right away. I think that he's grown a lot throughout this year. You know, we'll see if he varies up his offense. That's kind of, for me, that's, that's what we're trying to, to build on. So he's not just hammering the same thing over and over again. He's being able to, to stay loose and vary his attacks because he has more than one. Um, that's kind of what I want to see in this, in, this, in this match and then beyond. You know, he's wrestling a high-level guy right away. Uh, I know he'll probably have a big home crowd, which is all right. You know, we, we like that. Um, it's all right if everybody's against you. You know, I mean, you just go out and you compete a certain way. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Um, Renda redshirted last year. Very good on, very good on top, you know. I mean, so there's some things that we're working for. But to me, it's just how much can we improve? So you saw Max at the start of last year and the end of last year, and how much he improved. You saw Foster, how much he improved. So that's kind of, they just have a different starting point now. If we can improve that much, then they can be one of the best guys in the country. So I'm kind of dodging the question as far as, Matchups, I don't really care. I mean, we know who they're wrestling. We have some ideas of their tendencies and those things, but it's still about them doing things that they do well. If, if Max does things that he does well and he varies his offense up and is flowing, that I don't care who it is. Same thing with Foster, don't care. <laughs> and that's, that's, where, that's where those guys are at and that's where we want to have them and keep them. Uh, but looking forward to it, it's, it's obviously the, a showcase event too. Um, I mean, I think the eyes of the country are usually on that event, so it's great for us having two guys, and, and hopefully next year there's three or four or five. You know, I know some teams don't send their guys, but it, for us right now, getting in front of the big stage and the more bigger matches some of these guys can compete in, the better. How many uh, guys are you going to take to Harold Nichols and what 